Okay, how's everybody doing out there? Merry Christmas to all. Sorry about that. I get so wrapped up in work sometimes. I literally forget uh, some of the holidays. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be my last video for today. I still have some more work uh, upstairs. I have a lot of wrapping and I'm decorating, done decorating the house. And a lot of baking and cooking. Yep, guess what? I, I went to restaurant school. Uh, graduating from culinary arts. Uh, fell into some IT tech. And then uh, basically, you know, eventually came here to projection screen. This is many, many years ago. All right, so let's uh, get started here. Anyway, so uh, this right here is a new form of a new formula which we developed. Uh, the formula will only be a part of our Eclipse uh, projection screen series, which means it will not be a screen paint. We will have a 4x8 flat panel screen, a 116 9 tension motorized screen, which I have one back there. I'm going to be coding pretty soon. Uh, we have a, actually, I just purchased a 120 inch fixed frame screen from one of the uh, companies that we buy our screens from. We get them for really good discount price from over there, including with the motorized. We have contracts over there with them. Um, also, too, I am in the process of purchasing a 138 inch uh, 2.35.1 uh, widescreen curve. So, I'm going to be coding that too. So, this is the new technology. It actually has uh, some of the coding, actually, some of the chemical formula from the Future Tech 4K Nano Black. So, this is the Eclipse uh, Nano Black uh, 4K Elite or Elite 4K. I don't know if I got that mixed up or what. So now we have it on the major test wall, which is the 300 watt floodlight directly on top of the screen. Nice and bright. I actually coated this with some ultra white paint. I got to redo that area right there. And where my uh, my screen is sitting and a projector sitting over there, we're about a good maybe 12 feet uh, from the test wall using a ViewSonic uh, long throw projector. That projector is 800 by 600 res 720p. All right, so let's begin. Uh, where's my uh, remote control? Oh, here it is. Picture is on blank mode. All right, there we go. And if you notice, when we do a lot of our demonstrations, we do them in fully lit environments. I don't see the purpose of doing a screen in a dark environment. Like I said, when you see demonstrations of screens being done in dark or some form of medieval lit environment, it's just a clear indicating a huge red flag, a clear indicator, but a huge red flag that that screen will not do well in ambient light. If a screen does want ambient light, well, why not start it off in ambient light? All right, so let's begin. Now, the screen's only 50% done still. There's a lot of testing that has to be done. Uh, these screens are not coming out anytime soon. The, the launch date for these screens is 2018. This screen will not be available yet for these screens. Now, this coating will be applied to a wallpaper light TV uh, film that we are developing. It will allow you to be able to have a screen as thin as a sheet of notebook paper. So, a lot more testing that has to be done, but it'll get there. And this is a screen that's 50% done. Here, let me go back a minute. I'm going to drop all our lights. The environment. There we go, nice and dark in here. And show you the difference between the black technology and a white wall. I keep saying this a thousand times, but people want to go with white screens. And, uh, you know, we, we have a gold screen. A lot of people thought that screen was actually silver. The one I had in the motorized projection screen, that screen was actually white gold, but some people thought it was silver. But anyway, so um, the reason why I said with these light screens, and like I said, when you have a white gold screen, it's different. You know, it comes up different. And it has better contrast than what you have on a, a light silver screen or a white screen. The problem you have is you lose so much contrast. Even if you have the lights out, you are still losing contrast. You 
see how it's darker in here, but it's white out here? That's what you're losing. Pause that right about right there. Look at that. See? See where it's dark here and it's white here? That's what you're losing. That's what you're losing when you use those white and those light silver screens. You really think you're getting the best of your ability, but you're just not. You're not getting it. Now see it again? Look at this. This is why we have that that um that uh that uh that professional 4K screen. That screen has insane contrast capability. That spray-on screen is insane. The TI-47, the TI-47, now keep in mind, the TI-47, a lot of people think that that's a mid-level silver screen. It's not. A TI-47 is actually gold. It actually is a gold and a combination of different colors. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but the screen literally is gold. So the screen has the ability to be able to produce an amazing image in a fully lit environment. I did a demonstration when I was watching doing some football highlights. I had all the lights on, I had the window open, and that screen was just smiling through the whole thing. That's because the technology that we use, we use something called smart technology gain. It's an embed engineer uh, chemical design gain that we design. And I know we have a lot of people out there who try to match our technology. They try to do the same thing we do. They think it has something to do with color. It has nothing to do with color. And it doesn't. You're so far from that. It's nothing to do with color. There's a lot more science behind that. You think if you shade it different colors, it's going to react different ways. That's not it. That's, that's a misconception. So you have to think deeper than that. Kind of blows your mind there a bit, doesn't it? All right. All right, before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And Merry Christmas to all.